Sniff. Arr, sniff. Gotta get that distance. It also lets you, uh, removes the crutch that is, um, uh, this. I mean, it removes the crutch that was, um, just spamming fucking DT. Like, just get yeah, in their right, fucking right, face right, and right. DT. Play better. Right, right. That being said, this play right here, not the height of gameplay right now, because I'm just doing super powerful helm splitters. And then you get a full heal. At the yeah, end. they're well placed. You're fine. And there we go. That should have killed Nightmare. Like, no. Mm. Oh, he's like two away. Fuck. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, look at that. Oh. Oh. What a cool fucking enemy. Design-wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the moving parts. And it's well, because it's a fucking death train. Yeah. Is what it really is. It's not. It's not moving like one, but design-wise, it's totally a death train. A strange voice from the transform is echoing inside my head. I'm the first key to opening the gate of the underworld. The second key resides in the mirror dimension. The mirror dimension, you say? How am I gonna get there? Notice that it's all like evil and dark now because I have Sparta. It's not the the friendly. Blue or orange of Ifrit or uh, Alistair. I see it. Sparta's bias red is showing, though. I mean, he had a preferable skin. Well, his energy is red. It should be. <laughs> it should be purple. It should be purple. That's not fair. Enter the corrupted world. Now, here's a cool fucking thing that gets a later visual callback. In the later in uh, DMC three, it's kind of subtle. Which one? D uh, the this mission t start screen actually. So if you look really carefully, that swirling vortex is the same swirling vortex that Virgil falls into at the end of DMC three. Wow, you're right. Good call. Good, good fucking pull. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Before I go in there, what's what's there should be some shit in here. Yep, yeah, here we go. Hello. Uh, Hello. I'm trying to remember what secret Hello. missions are left. To there's very few. Yeah. The one that I can't remember, and we will have to look it up because I genuinely can't remember, is how to get Bayonetta's bangle. Thing. That existed. It's in DMC one as an item. Well, it's not called Bayonetta's Bangle. No, obviously not. It's called but... Witch's fucking whatever. Right. Damn. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's roll. Back. I'm, I'm itching up against the limit of my memories right now. My memory is often super incorrect, but occasionally it works quite well for me. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Well, they, you know, if you need proof of the damage buff right there. Yeah, that that's probably the clearest it's ever been, actually. Don't even get the third swing. And the third swing does the most damage. Gotta backtrack. It's the only way. <sighs> the Those items are so disposable and so, like, don't even think about them as you grab one out of one socket in the wall and slam it into another that the fact that one of them would be related or referenced later with Bayonetta is kind of, uh, kind of nuts to me. Nothing here. Okay. Looks like... Oh, right, I already got this one. Got it. The mirror is responding to the elixir. Ooh, it's an eerie reflection. Oh my goodness. And that's the nun you stabbed earlier. Yeah. So... And you Stole her ball gag. I just double checked, and in fact, we cannot, we straight up cannot get an orb fragment because I don't have air raid. Just, it is actually impossible. <laughs> Fucking. <clears throat> yeah, well, in fact, the next two require air raid and air hike to acquire because they're so high up. 
Someone should have spent their money better. Somebody should. Sh well, you know what? You know what? You, sh you, you know what? You should have bought it. Orbs are of no use here. That's a cool little detail, actually. Only in the mirror world. Fuck. Well, luckily, there's an orb of time fucks or whatever over here. Is somebody about to buy Air Raid? But only. Oh, it's only the one, huh? I thought it was two purchases. Okay, maybe we'll take Air Raid out of the trash, but only to go dumpster diving for blue orbs. It actually requires one? Yeah. Damn. Because they're at the fucking top of the stage. They're the absolute tippity tippity pop. But Air Raid lets you only fly horizontal. That's right. So you use air, you use air hike to get super, super high, and then you air raid over. Oh, the delicious Philosopher's Stone. Say hello to an enemy that super never came back, and I hope they never do. The nobody. It's... It's a creepy design. And they put the mask on. And they grow to be twice as big. So, is that like a Kingdom Hearts thing? Uh, this, of more than anything, was assuredly a Resident Evil monster. How do I know? I, they have Birkin's eyeball on their side. Oh. Okay. Like William Birkin, you know, the is, look at that. Look at that eyeball. Isn't that the, ty the tyrant has that? Yes. Is that what that is? William Birkin. And you actually hit the eyeball. Why? Is Okay, well, I don't... Yeah, that's Continue the... Continue your question. That's the eyeball on the tyrant. Thank you. Other enemies have that eyeball? In this game, or in Resident, in Evil? Resident Evil? No. Okay, so the tyrant is Birkin? Birkin... That is Birkin's eyeball. Not the tyrant. Okay. Birkin is a tyrant. Okay, all Birkins are tyrants, but not all tyrants are Birkins. Because Birkin is a guy. Birkin's a person. He's the guy with the big eyeball coming out of his arm. Seen that guy? Not outside of the tyrant. The only thing I know about giant eyeballs is the tyrant. That's fair. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's, that's fine. I... So you're saying that would have been a design of one of his forms or something? Yes. Okay. Or an offshoot or some shit. Now, I have to figure out how to get all the way up there. Okay, so, because I was, I was also going to say that, Check like... Check that out. Yeah. Because as much as you're calling it a Resident Evil, it's like, these laughing, ghoulish things really don't look like zombies of any kind. They're no, just, they look like generic they, ass monsters. But they look like demons. Yeah. And there are no demons. Oh, I'm sure their design was altered, but the weird arms and the... all that shit. So that... I believe I can do that. No. That's tough to get. Air, air so raid. air raid is that one. Yeah. But look, like jumping off the, the the front of that wall, you actually got higher than the platform, so you could actually probably air raid back. See, if you transformed and then flew backwards. Not that way, but only when you it's only when you jump directly off the same surface. Oh, this one. And you then you jumped backwards. And then you were yeah, but you cannot you. air raid. Uh, you can't. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. You'd fly backwards. Unfortunately, you have nothing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, that's right. Items. Okay, how do I actually perform air raid? It's been like a decade since I used it. Is like an R button? Air hike. Air hat. Press yeah. R1 while jumping. There you go. Okay, well, let's get the, the one over there easy. Got one. You can even show people the lightning strike. Oh, fuck. I super, uh... Alright. Use another one. Oh, fuck. I hate you. Use another I hate one. You. I hate everything. Devil Star. That's an item. You spent... You're using an item, and you're... <laughs> oh, my God. And you're using the move that you fucking didn't want to get, and it's just great. It's great. Get in there. Get in there. God damn it. <laughs> okay, actually the fact that it didn't let you like Yeah, that one's that one's busted. That just I'm going to give up. I'm going to check my stupid list. 
Da -da -da -da. It's cool. We'll just look at Dante Toro's guns. Oh, there he goes. That is cool. Okay, this one apparently you can actually do. Yeah! What the fuck? What were you not doing? I was not. So you can't grab onto the front, I guess. You can only grab onto the side. Because you see how the side has a slightly longer Jesus. straight line? Jesus Christ. Thanks, video games. Alright, well, the, the my ranking for this mission is just. It doesn't count. It was for the orbs. Uh huh. It was for the orbs. Yeah, I'm sure the ranking will affect. will uh, take that into consideration. <laughs> so, anyway, the fact that Dante doesn't swear and cuss and, and, and drink and smoke, but he's still a cool guy. He doesn't guy, even seem to make out with anybody, even a little. It makes you think how come he's not the, the Christian hero? Like that, all the Sonic kids were looking well, for. Well, because the devil, <laughs> probably, if not for the fact that he were a literal devil. If he was, if he was, angels never cry. You know, if, damn it. Ah, well deserved. Platforming is my bane. I'm not good at it. Well, sometimes I am, but if if um if he used angel power. Or, or maybe if he was not just... if he fought demons, because apparently the yeah. rules on that are yeah, fucking yeah, weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it would have to be like all like fights drug dealers, biohazard demons, right? It's all like oh, this oh, Sparta was a chemist, and he unlocked the power of angels, <laughs> and then Dante would. Oh, <laughs> he's also named for the character that walks around hell. Yeah, and um, you know. It would be a really tough rewrite, is what I'm saying. Yeah. But he's got all the ingredients of, of like, Christian kids would love it, because... He he's wholesome. He's cool without doing... And he loves his mom. Nope. <laughs> no peer pressure. Just effortlessly cool. Loves pizza. Doesn't believe in peer pressure. Dante would come up to you if the other kids at school were telling you to smoke drugs and go, Man, give me that. But then he jumps in a church window and he kills everybody. Oh. <laughs> then he breaks the statue and runs away. Oh no, I just fell into the netherworld. <laughs> so maybe that wouldn't be the greatest thing for the church kids. Because lit Dante literally walks into a church and murders everyone in cold blood, or what appears to be. So here is the way out, just in case. But more than that. So, what I like about this is that this is how uh, Phantom got into the stage in the real world. He just dropped through. And now you're going through the evil darkness world in this mountain. This must be the gate to the underworld. Exciting. Shall I use it? This is the gate to a franchise that never should have existed. Mwah. Well, could you do me a, a small favor and actually look up how to get that secret mission with the bangle? Oh, I was hoping you'd ask that I never reference Underworld on the channel again. Underworld? What? I didn't even... Un I didn't even realize what was happening. It's too late. Kate Beckinsale? That first movie's okay, I guess. Oh, no, no it wasn't. Yeah. No, no. No, it, it looked cool. No, it wasn't. It no, cool, you walked out of that hating it. Did I? Yep. But it was... Uh, no. The trailer was cool. Everybody stares at the new weird half-vampire, half-werewolf creature. And, oh, right. Now, yeah, it's coming back to and me then now. And they see it oh, standing boy. there awkwardly. Oh, and he looks bad. They just walk away. Oh, Everyone just quietly walks away. Oh, man. Hey, which side is the army coming from? I have all sides. Uh, switch angles, camera, what? Oh, so now we're in hell. And hell in Devil May Cry is organic. Yeah, uh, what, do you, what am I looking at? Uh, the Bangle of Time in Devil May Cry 1. Oh, fuck. I love organic hell. Like, hell is a thing! It's always organic, but sometimes it's more organic than others. Like in, uh, that game, uh, that, uh, didn't advertise itself. What's it called? Agony? Yeah. It kinda advertised itself. Had some trailers, and it came out, everyone's like, it's not very good. Like, oh. But it looks like organic hell as fuck. Yeah. That is accurate. You know, I feel like Ifrit might still be a better uh, use against these guys, because it stuns them. Fuck. Okay, SM12... 
is... Oh, it's a secret mission. Directly across from the Divinity Statue. Half, half claimed by organic material. In what, uh... The first room. Here. Yes. So, right here. I'm looking right at it. Yes. I'm switching back to Ifrit. Holy shit. So, just examine the wall directly across from it. Well, first I'm gonna fuck these fuckers up. Look at that. So much easier with Ifrit. I love you, Ifrit. Uh... Yeah, then you just gotta... Gotcha. Gotta do number 12. Breakdown! Breakdown? Okay, so from... It's facing? Directly across. There could be any. I do like that... In the background. It's very friendly. Um, I assume it's, it, it, it's like, it has to be facing, because it says, it says, examine the wall directly across from the divinity statue. It's the right mission. Uh, mission 21? This is not mission 21, bro. It's only mission 20. Then Showdown with Nightmare. Well, then it's mission 21. Damn! Sick burns! Well, anyway, that's, that's the bag of time. Wow. Yay. That's cool! Mm hmm it really is, actually. <laughs> it actually really is. Dante! Dante! Not Help Nightmare's me. gonna fuck my shit up. Trish. He's really pissed about what you did. And Trish is like, huh, I tricked you. How about round three? Yeah, She's I'll behind. I'll, 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 I'll do that. She's behind an impenetrable thing, though. It's you fine. Moron. What a maroon. Like I really had a choice. Man, you gotta love the the hero motivation that comes from, like, oh man, that bad guy, like he beat up his own villains that were trying to kill me, and that makes me even more mad. I hate. Oh. How could you turn on your own people like that? Don't you have any honor, big evil man? No, what the? A battle with that so this is the hardest fight in the game, no problem. Uh, on, you have nowhere to run. On DMD. You have nowhere to run, and the camera is super horrible. Like, it's actually cutting away from the target. Yeah, it's very bad to do. I, I'm trying to jump on his back. He did... It's, why was he not doing that beam attack more often? Because he usually does. All right. Like, or maybe you're just getting lucky with it. Maybe I'm getting lucky. But he usually does that beam way more often. All right. Let's spin the camera. Oh, some skull boys. Hey, skull boys. Love you guys. You guys are cool. Oh, I want. I hope there's nobody but you skull guys in here. So that'd be embarrassing. Like an area of camera freedom. It's quite rare in this game. Very. But it's because there's no walls. This would later become Bloody Palace, I guess. You know what? Bloody Palace? Yeah, there you go. That was something DMC2 added, and it was of value. It started in 2. Yep. Mm. Well then, fuck it. Oh. 2 adds the cape. And, and that, and that's a Wow, one. that's a work damage. Two also adds that big, dumb, goofy face coming out of the side of a skyscraper. Hell yeah, it does. I remember seeing that in the trailer go, FUCK, THAT'S COOL! Oh, <laughs> man! <laughs> Worst boss in the whole game! Ah, uh, shit. But then you can't hit it with your sword, man. But it's like, now Dante's out in the real world and everything's going to shit. Like well, it's, it's a cool concept. It's, it's, it's the idea of, like, the evil has escaped and made its way to your home. Oh, no. It's Jurassic Park 2. The, the T-Rex just ate your dog. That makes zero sense. How did the T-Rex kill the people on that boat? One by one. Slowly. Calculating. Uh, Trish, how could you do this? <laughs> you fool. You're so easy. Oh, I got lured in by your hot mom looks. You? Humans, what sweets. You should know better than to trust a stranger. Your presence has become a hindrance to my master's bloody scheme. 
but you you brought him here. Are, am I still gonna get paid? No. Well, can I just go home then? I just want to hit the fucking thing. I just just hit the fucking thing. So now it's nightmare plus occasional z wall zaps. Occasional zaps. <laughs> it's so like. Uh, and that does not last for long on this version, but uh, on the others it can be, it can be a little bro. Just don't, just don't touch the walls, you guys. And there's Nightmare's actual core, yes. and which, which is, I am having trouble hitting for some reason. It's, it's basically Yami from Okami. Fucking, oh my god. Wow, swing. Swing first. Swing first, Doctor. There we go. Got it. High fives to me. Now, mommy, why would you do that? <laughs> Ted! Oh! Man! <laughs> mommy, no, no, you can't! Yeah, no, me! I can't say mommy! <laughs> oh, fuck. I am being that Virgil, it might be the best now. I mean, hey, like, if <laughs> this is one thing, he's, he's not an idiot. Oh, fuck. He figured out exactly how to fucking... Fuck with him. ...make this idiot... ...do whatever he wanted. <sighs> Dante! <laughs> Dante, why did you save my life? From rubble that I could have kicked. Because I showed the power to lift a motorcycle at the beginning of the game. Because you look like my mother. What? Now get out of my sight. The next time we meet, it won't be like this. Her name was Martha, too. Oh fuck. Dante. This music. Don't come any closer, you devil. <laughs> you may look like my mother, but you're nowhere close to her. You have no soul. You have the face, but you'll never have her fire! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's crazy to me is that, like, Ruben Langdon is the same voice actor in all the games. Sure. And it's it, that if it's that, if it's sure like that, is. it can only come down to writing and direction, it right? Is, yeah. He didn't just be no. shit for this one. I mean... And it also, like, um... God, what does he say in the intro? Uh, uh, uh... There's a, there's a moment where he says something that doesn't sound like like him at all. Um, anyway, whatever. It, it, it's 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 just the the quote from the intro sounds way out of character from the from the voice that he adopts for Dante later on. So yes, all writing all the time. The living cave. Oh, the living cave. That's crazy. My mother never zapped me in the back with electricity. Well, no. While I was fighting a boss. That was not cool, mommy. It's Get away from me, devil. Okay, yeah, it's definitely here. It's definitely here. Look at that bubbly, bubbly goodness. Oh, there's all sorts of bubbly goodness. There it is. Look yep. at it. So just beat this. And you the it. hidden bangle. Find the hidden bangle. It resides in the secret corridor. Little... Could they have known that this bangle would go on to nothing? Nothing, and no one. Yeah, it is. It is the. It is the exact same upgrade in Bayonetta. Little, little would they know that this bangle would go on to be a kind of cool factoid in the future, I guess. So yeah, that's a full blue orb right there. Just hanging out. Yeah, you get an orb for finding it. Yeah. Meanwhile, this guy is fucking just drop kicking you. I don't like these guys. You know. The dropkick command is a running taunt, so technically he's running and taunting oh, you. Oh fuck! But it hurts. Yeah, you can kill. We can. You can kill with the dropkick. In fact, uh, I remember uh, Shmup God Pat doing it to kill off uh, um, some Credo. With, really? With the ultimate swag. Oh, that's fun. because it then goes into the cutscene. Oh and man! And it's fucking great. Why would you do that to Credo? He's only a massive asshole. It's what the, a piece of shit. The running, the running taunt. Whoa, that was super loud for some reason. 
Okay, the, see, that, I don't like that. Yeah, and I like how they confirmed as well that it's going to have a function in DMC5. Of course it will. That's super dope. Okay, now you die, please. Hey. Look at those. Look at those yeah. fucking low-res alpha effects. Like, I, I'm gonna say that that's my number one single greatest taunt. Dropkick to the face? Uh, yeah. The fact that it's a taunt yeah. is why it's the best. Because a dropkick's great. Everybody loves dropkicks. Right? I love dropkicks more than most. I really, really, really love dropkicks. Will drop you kicks. like a dropkick? Really love Alright, drop I just kick. went in a circle. Because it's the ultimate disrespect. But, um, number two would go to the, uh, the fucking air guitar. Mm. Because you can just keep it going for as uh, long as you That's my want. favorite. You literally just you just watch him go, and as long as you don't touch the stick, I, I love it in Bloody Palace. You do it at the end of a phase. You just, you just fucking let it rock for a while. He just stays there and does it. You can't stop him. I mean, you could, but why would you? We're getting lots of those versions of the in DMC5. We get the hoodie. We get the hoodie. Absolutely. We get the air guitars back. Yeah, and they all have different functions. They're all third strike. Oh man, that's gross. Let's cut through it. It's better than in, in, um, in Duke Nukem when you have to tickle it with your finger. And watch it slowly recede. You know. Wow. Because anus is after all. Look at that thing. This is a secret mission. Yeah. It's way more in death than the others. Because it's in hell. And secret missions in hell are cool. Wait, that doesn't count now? I can't cut that? Alright, fine. What else do we got in here? The effect on that lava is awful. Is, oh wow, it did not look like that. It was not meant to be, you know, when you were running by and moving the camera with it at the Holy same time. Holy! The textures hate it. Now we know exactly how they're making it move. They're just scrolling the same texture sideways. Oh, that's awful. And it doesn't flow like lava at all, and it looks really bad as you walk alongside the flow. It makes it look like the rocks are floating. Yikes. I have a feeling there's a camera thing I'm missing here, so I'm gonna switch to Alistair. Oh, uh, no, there's no camera thing I'm missing. And you can't, uh... That is bizarre. Swing at that. Okay, well, the actual mission description is, uh... Okay, let's... Like, I, it is forcing me very strongly to not swing at that. Kill the nobodies, collect the blue orb. Got it. Uh, there's a T-Rex skeleton in the next room. That's correct. Oh, never mind, I found it. Uh, okay. It is, in fact, right there. I'm just gonna... Go like that, yeah. Why is there a parasite even hell? Shh. Don't worry about it. What? Like... Why oh. is the stupidest and coolest thing ever just... Oh, I forgot you in have hell. to fight it. You have to actually fight this stupid T-Rex skeleton. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, man. Is this what your hell consists of? Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I mean, I guess it's like- Oh, I blew it up! Did you everybody see? It's not a dragon skeleton. It's very specifically a dinosaur. And then you gotta, yeah. Exactly. So. Fight these boys. Um... In the lava nightmare. So on easy, those are just shadows. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which are harder than these guys! That's fucked! <laughs> That's the balance, otherwise you're getting your frosts. Then... Oh, because frosts were never introduced. Then I ride that up there. That has a relatively impressive CG texture, or, or, or moving texture. Yeah, on unconventional red orb crystal. Very unconventional. It's like a weird pulsating butt growth. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, done. Yeah. There you go. Delicious. That just looks like a goddamn FMV. It is. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it looks like that. It's just a fucking. It's an FMV. That's texture. why I'm like, good job. Yeah. Uh, you did a good job. But not in, not in, not in current resolution. Oh, guess what saved your life, idiot? Four thousand red orbs. That's Eat right. Shit. Bangle of time. Eat it's a shit. mysterious wristband that has the power to stop time. Clear. Defeated the final secret mission in the game. Still staring at your mom's ass. I believe I got everything but two secret missions. You're basically Joseph Joestar if you yeah. think about it. So, gonna do a little, little thing with the- reward The reward for the secret mission is, is peeking at mom's butt. Ugh, man. Mysterious bangle. Peeking through that. So if you wear this bangle. Okay, well, 
I'm not, I'm not engaging with this. <laughs> and then you hit the L1. <laughs> Neither did Lisa Lisa. This happened. Oh! A power that Dante will receive later. Much later, in fact. Magla time. Yeah. Let's make sure to save the fucking game. You should don't want to lose that shit. You should, you should save the game. And the only thing left now is a showdown with Mundus. The only problem is that he doesn't have a cool-ass dodge where he asks if, he, if the enemies want to touch him. Yeah, 